Okay, this company, Rohent, Rohent, I guess. Oh, this is the R9 um, camera, backup camera. Actually makes a few different ones, different model numbers. Um, this one here, um, I've already tested it and uh, works great. This is the monitor. Um, I'm still deciding on how I'm going to mount that in the truck, but I have several um, actual ideas. You'll see these cameras, there's a lot of differences. This one has this little glass um, windows or sensors. And I don't think they actually light up, but I'm going to figure that out, um, like for backup or anything. But I do think they're for night driving. So they're sensors for that infrared um, night driving. And you'll notice some cameras from some um, other brands or other models may not have as many or those type or some at all. Um, so this has the, uh, the sun shield separate that you can put on. Some camera monitors have this this um, sun shield molded right onto the to the actual um, monitor and um, there's a um, suction cup window mount included some various wire connectors screws brackets um, so this seller will offer a free camera a license plate style or a um, another RV type camera. I'm going to put one on the bumper of my travel trailer so I can have a nice ground view of when I back up and then one up on um, the top of the roof line, top of the roof um, that will look down and um, it's going to give me a, a good view of what's going on behind me while I drive it. Also when I go to back into a campsite. So um, these are the wires. It's all pretty easy to connect. It's an included manual with instructions. It's all pretty simple though. Um, didn't take much um, figuring out to get it to work. Um, and the picture quality was, was really good. Okay, I'm going to install this backup camera, Rohent, R-O-H-E-N-T, R9, on the back of my RV trailer. I saw a video on YouTube where the guy took this out, took the socket out, put this back, put the bracket on top of that, and shoved all the wire down the hole problem I have with that is when he put this back this hole was still here and it was still open I mean you could fill it with caulk or something but he didn't do any of that and the other problem I have is it's um, about a quarter inch plywood with a thin layer of fiberglass and it's hollow I'm not sure I trust my camera to stay there so the other thing is this solid it's solid up here there's a stud or something here roof rafter I could install it up here I'd feel much more secure with the camera up there the wires going down here but I would have to figure out a way to come out of there with wires that will secure what I'm trying to think of is uh, not leak that won't leak and I think I got an idea and that way I can still use the marker light as well. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do. So I shaved down one of those grommets that were on the camera. And I'm going to glue that in place. To seal that hole. Silicone it. Whatever. And um, these wires will be the feed. White is common, like black would be, negative, and then this is your power, 12 volt power. That's 
I might have to do yellow and yellow and white. But I used the wool meter and that's what they are. Test it. The camera's just slightly little crooked. I haven't fully got it mounted on there yet. But uh, the screws are adjustable, so I'm just going to tilt it a little bit, straighten it out. All right, we'll show you how it comes out. This way, I get to use the light. I'm in solid wood up here. And I just am more satisfied with the way that's secure into a good one and a half inch stud that's in there. Okay, I've already tested the camera. I'm getting a good re good reception. Um, this is what I'm ending up with here. So this has a rubber grommet in the back that pushes against here. There's no other gasket, but I am gonna uh, put some silicone around it. That's the way it was. There's silicone around here. It's like an almond color of some sort. Um, but that pushes in the hole and seals that one. This one here, I'm going to glue in place. I made it from one of the grommets that came with this. I cut it in half so it wasn't too thick. It'll push against this, push against here, push it on there. But I'm going to glue it in place first and um, let that set away night. Okay, just to recap, I cut one of those grommets that came with the, the camera, thickness of it down so it would go behind. Um, this light plate I've glued it in place with some Gorilla um, glue and it's on there really well it's sealed it's sealed even in there but I had to cut it because I need this cord to go down like like this if you can see that so I can come out here with this little notch that I made in the uh, plate and um, this grommet back here goes in the hole and will fill it. I'm going to put some butyl tape, um, which is just basically like a caulking tape, butyl tape around the uh, edges here. I'm gonna put a little silicone right in, right in here. And Put a little silicone right in there and then um, after it's on I'm gonna put some silicone around the outside and um, this should work just fine with no water issues no leakage okay one thing I failed to do is to just push that wire in a little bit more another inch and a half or so and it would have been a little neater but I'm not gonna mess with it now I'm gonna live with that I've got the butyl tape around here I'm gonna trim it around now and then I'll put some caulking around the outside of it. I had to put in some larger screws because the holes were just that worn out from just taking the screw out. Um, I mean, again, it's a quarter of an inch, if that. So it's not much meat there. Okay, I was able to, I was able to get a pretty good seal with the butyl tape. I probably don't need caulking, but I'm gonna put it on the top, just over to the side a little. I'm gonna put a little on top of here I don't think it would wiggle into the screw area, but cover the screw and the, um, I'm gonna cover the screw and the top of that bracket. Even though there's only two little screw holes, the screws fill it up just to be on the safe side. All right, I was able to deal with the extra cord length by wrapping it around the bracket. I'll put the lens cover on there. I actually lost the bulb, so I'm waiting for a new one to arrive today and uh, we'll be good to go. Looks from down below. All finished just about, except for the lens cover. Okay, so we're just about done with the uh, camera install, the Rohan R9. And um, I've decided to use a RAM mount gooseneck and that'll put it right here and uh, make this a little neater perhaps or go somewhere else with the cord but right now 
Um, it's working pretty good. I'll be able to see it while I'm driving. I have a ram mount over here. And uh, I use that for my iPhone. And it works out very well. So I've got one over here. And I'll show you that maybe. Um, so the camera's installed. The monitor looks good. Now I did consider this. It, it came second. The ram mount came first. I ordered this. I didn't think it would be very good. Uh, I thought it would be very cheap. But actually, it is a very solid, very well made. It can tighten it up really nice, and you could put it in. You could put it in a cup holder, and it's really adjustable, so that it it's really tight, and you could have it like right here, or back there. I don't want to lose a cup hold, holder particularly, but I could have. You know, you're traveling a long way. The wife would like a uh, cup holder too. <laughs> but anyway, I could have went there. And um, it is big enough to, I mean, that pulls out even further. So it would have held this monitor. You can see here that these things come out. It tightens up. They have rubber on them. And um, they get really tight. And everything else can tighten up really well. It's on a little ball. And um, I don't know, this is really pretty good. I'm going to offer it to my wife for her cell phone and her Avalon. So we'll see. But um, this is what I went with, and I'm happy with it. You can adjust this angle wise. I've got it pretty tight, so I have to kind of, you know, use a little bit of force. But that's the way I want it to be very tight. And um, I kind of like that because I like the ram mounts. So the Rohant, or Rohent, R-O-H-E-N-T, R9, finally installed. So we've got the uh, camera on the back of the 30-foot travel trailer. And uh, took our first trip, it works really well. We've got it mounted on a gooseneck ram mount. And uh, I like it, it was especially helpful backing into the uh, the camp spot. The grid lines can be removed with a menu setting. But other than that, everything was great.